The following presentation is put together for general education and is not intended to take the place of personal specific medical advice. It is advisable to consult with one's own personal health care provider before implementing any lifestyle changes for a diagnostics, diagnosis, treatment, or any other procedures, including allopathic medical advice, see your doctor. For healing, see the great physician. Our text today comes from Ezekiel 47, verse 12, and it says, The fruit thereof shall be for meat, and the leaf thereof for medicine. And as I talk about the fruit thereof and the leaf, we're going to talk about the merengue tree. The merengue. Have anybody ever, has ever heard of the merengue? Let me see all who have a merengue tree. Merengue tree, okay. Now I know who has a merengue tree. <laughs> okay. Imagine a tree in your backyard that will meet all your nutritional needs. Take care of you medicinally and purify your water for you. This tree only exists. This tree actually exists. For centuries, the natives of no no northern India and many parts of Africa have known for the many benefits of merengue aloe Merengue. The most amazing thing about merengue is that all parts of this plant, including its bark, its roots, its flowers, its leaves, its seeds, its sap, and pads are a storehouse of nutrition and of nutrition and antioxidants. Thus, this plant possesses innumerable health benefits and has the capability the capacity of curing several diseases. For this reason, it is referred to as the miracle tree and is widely used in traditional medicine. The various health benefits are as follows. Merengue contains all the essential amino acids needed by the body. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins which are needed to grow, repair, and maintain cells. Human body manufactures 10 to 12 amino acids. The remaining eight amino acids are known as the essential amino acids which should be provided from everyday diet, and merengue, merengue contains all of them. The list of ami ami essential amino acids and their benefits are below. Did you know the flowers of merengue are used in making herbal tea, which contains flavonoids and antioxidants? The seeds of the merengue contain 40% edible oil known as ben oil. This clear, sweet, and odorless oil is rich in antioxidants and is similar to olive oil in terms of its nutritional profile. It has an indefinite shelf, self, shelf life as it does not turn rancid or like other oils. Merengue leaves are the most widely used parts of this plant. The leaves are edible. They contain, they contain three times more iron than spinach. And today for lunch, we're going to be having some in our lunch. Okay, so these are the leaves of the merengue. You have the merengue leaf. You have the flowers. That's on this side. You have the pads. Those are the green pads. And in the pads, it has the seeds. And when it's dry, the seeds are like that. Now, when the seeds are dry, you can eat it. If you eat it, it has about three different tastes at first. It tastes kind of bitterish, have a funny taste like nuts. Then it tastes sweet, and even like an hour or two after you eat it, you dr if you're drinking your water during the day, it will give you like a sweet taste in your mouth going down. And who doesn't like to drink water? If you eat a merengue seed, you'll, it allow you to drink your water during the day. But don't eat too much now. Okay, these are the benefits of the merengue that was um, stated first. It's new. Nourishes, sorry, it nourishes body's immune system, promotes healthy circulation, supports normal blood glucose level, is natural and anti-aging benefits, is anti-inflammatory supports, it promotes healthy digestion, is heightens mental clarity, 
is naturally increased energy. Now, findings of a study which, are, which were used as the base of many news reports on merengue as a wonder plant state that merengue contains anti-cancer compounds, phytochemicals, that help stop the growth of cancer cells. The liver health. Merengue also has also been observed to be an effective treatment against a wide array of liver disease, such as both chronic and acute hepatitis, cirrhosis of the liver, fatty degeneration of the liver, and the metabolic liver disease brought about by alcohol and drug use. This is because merengue not only stops the toxicity that causes these diseases, but also helps to reverse it. On its own, the liver is a very resilient organ, able to regenerate its cells and grow back even after over half of it is destroyed or removed. Merengue accelerates this regeneration process by about four times the normal speed, eventually helping the liver regain full functionality. functionality. In developing tropic countries, merengue trees have been used to combat malnutrition, especially among infants and nursing mothers. Leaves can be eaten fresh, cooked, or stored as dry powder for many months without refrigeration and without loss of nutritional value. The leaves. Now, this is, this is the leaves. The leaves is, um, in this photo, the leaf of the merengue powder, it has a powder and it has a capsule. Now, the leaves are an excellent source of many vitamins and minerals. One cup of fresh chopped leaves contains the following protein, vitamin, vitamin C, iron, riboflavin, vitamin, and magnesium. Now, this is um, the dry leaf. I dried it and I, de I dehydrated it by put it in the dehydrator, dehydrator for, takes me about two days because you have to dry it and low it like 110, 15 so that it protects the nutritional value inside of it. Now this is the powder, yeah, some of the powder there and it is also in capsule form too. You also have the meringue flowers. You can use the flowers and dry the flowers. It's, it's a little different color because the flowers is mostly white. So when you dry it, it becomes this color. And you grind it in like a food processor, a Vitamix. I have a Vitamix, a dry blade, and I use a dry blade to, to dry it like that, to ground it up. Okay. The meringue dry leaf has 10 times the vitamin A of carrots, half times the vitamin C of oranges, 17 times the calcium of milk, 15 times the potassium of bananas, 25 times the iron of spinach, nine times the protein of yogurt. Now, for people with blood sugar levels or diabetes, meringue appears to have an anti-diabetic effect, likely due to the beneficial plant compounds containing the leaves. One study found women who, take seven, te who took seven grams of meringue leaf powder daily for three months reduce their fasting blood sugar levels by 3.5%, 13.5%, It's medicinal qualities. Now, the juices from the leaves is believed to have a stabilizing effect on blood, blood pressure and is used to treat anxiety. It is believed to control glucose level in cases of diabetes. Mixed with honey and followed by a drink of coconut milk two or three times a day, leaves are used as a remedy for diarrhea, dysentery, and colitis. Leaf juice, sometimes with carrot added, is used as a diuretic. Eating leaf is recommended in cases of gonorrhea because of the diuretic action. Leaves and buds are rubbed on the temple for headache. A poultice is made from the fresh leaves and applied to reduce glandular swelling. So you can also make a poultice from it. Leaf juice is used as a, kin, as a skin antiseptic. Leaves are used to treat fevers, bronchitis, high hair infection, scurvy, and cataract. That's inflammation of the muscles in the membrane. Leaves are considered to be anthemintic, 
That means it's able to, to kill intestinal worms. Leaves are used as a purgative. Eating leaves is believed to increase a woman, woman's milk production and is sometimes described for anemia. And I'll tell you more about the woman milk. He said, how moringa helps the anti-aging process. The other way to slow down aging is to aid the process of cell regeneration itself. Moringa does this by containing usually large amount of zetin, which with its potent antioxidant properties becomes another valuable substance in the fight against premature aging. Zetin is found in many, if not most, superior plants. However, Meringue oleifera contains thousands times more concentrating zetin than any other plant known to science. How do you use your Meringue? If you have access to a Meringue tree, you can use the fresh leaves in your meals, like I said. They have flavor similar to radish. But if you put it with your salads, and so you hardly taste it. Toss them like a salad, blend them into your smoothies, or sometimes steam them like you're doing spinach. Other, another option is to use meringue powder, like I showed you the powder. You can use it in the sup as a supplement aid in your smoothies and in soups and other foods for extra nutri nutri nutrition. Now, we use it in smoothies, but I saw my husband use it in his soup. So <laughs> it's, it can be used. Side effects and safety. Now, Moringa is possibly safe when taken by mouth and used appropriately. The, the leaves, fruits, seeds might be safe when eaten as food. However, it is important to avoid eating the root and its extracts. These parts of the plant may contain a toxic substance that can cause paralysis and death. Meringue, can, must, meringue has been used safely in doses up to six grams daily for up to three weeks. Now you're talking about the roots. You're not supposed to eat the roots. There isn't enough information to know if meringue is safe when using medicinal amounts. Now for pregnant and breastfeeding mothers, it is, un, it is likely unsafe to use the roots, barks, or flowers of the meringue if you are pregnant because the chemicals in the root, bark, and flowers can cause the uterus to contract and this may cause a miscarriage. There is not enough e information available about the safety of using other parts of the meringue during pregnancy. So for to be safe, stay on the, si the safe side and avoid using it if you are pregnant. Meringue is sometimes used to increase breast milk production, but like we said, stay on the safe side. Some research suggests it might do this. However, there isn't enough information to know if it is safe for the, for the new nursing infant. Therefore, it is best to avoid meringue if you are breastfeeding. How do you grow a meringue tree? It is so easy. The meringue tree is, na is native to northern India, but today it is common throughout the tropical and subtropical regions of Asia, Africa, and Latin America. It's a lot in Africa and Asia. And it's now in America, a lot of people in America has meringue tree. Meringue tree can grow easily from the seed or the cuttings. You can cut a little piece of the stick and you can plant it and it grows just like that. It, it, is, it grows quickly in even poor soil and in eight months after planting it, it begins to bloom or to flourish. And it loves eat and Florida is hot. It loves eat. That's a small plant. Okay, it's gone. Okay, like Moses, Moses and the Israelites, when they were going through the wilderness, you know, when they were the children of Israelite, the children were crying in the wilderness, and Moses, they came to Moses because they couldn't get any water when they, they reached um, Kadesh. Or they could not get any water. So Moses cried unto the Lord. Ezekiel, Exodus 15, verse 25 said, And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree which when he had cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. Now, a lot of people we keep, have been saying that it must have been a meringue stick or a meringue tree that the Lord have showed Moses and he cast it into the sea and the water became sweet and they gave the Israelite water to drink. So let us thank God that he has given us a lot of things out there that is nutritious to us, that, is, that can help us. And we, we come every Sabbath and we have learned something new. Let us... Practice it in our daily life. Sometimes we're not going to be able to get certain stuff over the pharmacies or so, but 
Let's take these things that we have been taught and let's just try to use them and see how well we can manage or how well it can be beneficial to our bodies. Yeah. Our last text says, this comes from Manuscript Release 105, August 26, 1898. The true, the true method of healing the sick is to tell them of the herbs that grow for the benefit of man. Yeah. 